Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly and I make DIY home improvement and travel videos every Friday. Okay, so here's a story. I challenged myself to make two tote bags for two of my friend's birthday gifts in one day. And the purpose of this video is to show you my process and my learnings along the way. So if you wanna follow along and make the tote bag, I encourage you to do so. Let's get started. This is actually the first bag that I've ever made. Essentially, there's three sections to the bag. There is the top layer, the bottom layer. This is more for decoration. If you want to do just one solid color, that's totally fine. It has a fusible fleece inside, also a inner lining. I actually added pockets in here because I really wanted it to store my iPhone and whatever else that you want to put in here. I'll be making two bags for two of my friend's birthdays. For the top section, the first bag will be a linen canvas fabric. And for the second bag, I'll be using a beige grid pattern. Both bags will have a solid beige bottom and a light brown floral lining. But please feel free to express yourself and use whatever color you like. Lastly, I'll be sewing the handles using the same fabric as the top pieces. Hopefully it will take me about four hours to complete the bag. Girl, you're hopeful. <laughs> I'll actually be updating you throughout the whole video on how long it actually took me to make these two bags. It's currently 4 p.m. Okay, now that we understand the general structure, let's begin. I'll be using this pattern, which I'll link in the description down below along with all the dimensions. For patterns like this, you want to make sure the horizontal and vertical patterns are straight. Trace out the pattern for the top section. You'll need two pieces of fabric and two pieces of fusible fleece for the front and back of the tote. This is another one of the projects that I've done. Basically a scissor holder. Now cut out the traced pieces. I've always thought the sound of scissors cutting into fabric and paper, very therapeutic. I'm just lining up this line right here with the other side of the piece so that it's even. I think that's why I love crafting so much. When I'm creating something, I'm engaging all my senses, which makes me feel grounded and in the present moment. I get to feel the different textures, see the different colors and patterns, and smell, <laughs> well, in this case, the burning end of the iron. The process of crafting is really a multi-sensory experience that connects me to the materials I'm working with. So, the next time you're creating, I encourage you to be mindful and engage your senses to make the experience immersive and enjoyable. Now, I'm essentially cutting the bottom piece for the tote bag. For both of the tote bags, I'm using the same color. So I need four of these. And also four of the fusible fleece. I'm using a piece of fabric chalk to trace out the bottom pattern. And to make the cutting process faster, I stack the cutout pieces and use it as a stencil to cut out the remainder of the fabric. Work smarter and not harder, guys. The top piece, the fusible fleece for the top piece, the bottom piece, and the fusible bottom piece. We'll be ironing the fusible fleece onto the top and bottom sections. Place the fabric onto the fusible fleece, making sure that the pattern side is facing up. Then consistently move the iron across the fabric to attach both pieces together. You'll want to repeat this step for the top and bottom sections of the bag. The last step is basically to cut up the front and back lining, two pieces per bag. So, so far, cutting the pieces and also pressing it, it took about two hours. So let's see how long it takes me to sew the whole bag. The next step is to cut up the fabric for the straps. We'll need two pieces per tote bag. After that, you will want to cut out the pieces for the pockets. So my pocket pieces, I'm planning on putting this on one side of the panel, sewing it so that it's two large pockets. And then the, on the other side, I'm going to have a pencil pocket. So I'm going to sew this and then flip it inside out. After sewing the two pocket pieces with the patterns facing each other, flip the piece inside out and sew the seams. So you're not even close. It's just a pocket. So it's still going to be seven hours. What? No, I don't think so. You're not going to be finished by tonight, aren't you? I'm giving them extra pockets, which takes a lot of time. And then I'm also, I need to do the handles. Uh, oh, honey. Come take a break. Come no. take a break. You're a kid. Here's what the pockets look like. For the inner lining and outer shell, we'll need to sew darts in the bottom corners to give it a 3D shape and allow more storage. 
Place the pattern side of the inner lining facing each other and sew the bottom U shape, leaving a small 3 inch gap so that we can flip the piece inside out later. Now that the inner lining is complete, let's work on the outer shell. Attach the straps to the top piece of the outer shell. It's finally time to attach the shell. Place the top and bottom outer shell facing each other and sew. Okay, home stretch. The fuzzy's gonna be the bottom, but let's pray that it doesn't snap. Good. My eyes are glazed over. What time is it? 9.30? I've been working on this. For how long? Since 4. And, uh, yeah, my brain is mush right now. Become so numb. I can't feel my face. We wish an anticipated hour of time to finish. Uh, you really trust me giving you time estimate? Because yeah, I was like, yeah. it's gonna take me three hours. It's like T minus like five hours now. And, and, uh, a tear in your eye. Uh, my eyes are glazed over. I only make things for people that I love because it's way easier for me to buy it than to make it. So if I've ever made you something, I love you. We got this, we got this. Here it is. Now it's time to assemble the piece. Okay, so future Kelly jumping in here. I'm editing the video right now and I realized I time-lapsed the whole part where I'm assembling the outer shell and also the inner lining. That's the most important piece because that's the final product. So I'm gonna demonstrate how you actually assemble the final part of the bag using a tiny little mock-up of a tote bag. For the outer shell, after you flip this inside out where the good side is facing out, you'll wanna place the inner lining on the outside, enveloping the outer lining. You wanna place the outer lining right inside here, like that. Cool, this looks so good. So then the next step is to sew all along the top section here, attaching the inner lining and the outer lining together. Before you do this, you actually wanna tuck in these straps. So take the straps, put it right here. Your bag should look like this so far. Your straps are in between here. I basically sewed all the way along here. So this is what it looks like now. And then the important piece, remember how we left the bottom of the inner lining not sewn? We're gonna flip the whole piece inside out through this hole. And then you'll wanna sew the whole shut. Final step is to take the inner lining, push it inside the outer shell. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm trying to hold it together right now. Final finishing touches, I am going to iron it. And here are the final results. Look how cute this is. And it even fits a tiny little cat. It's needle felted. Okay, with all jokes aside, here is the final result. Wow, so beautiful. Can store so much and with pockets. Okay, now with the glamour shots out of the way, it's time to gift the two tote bags to my friends. We went to this really Instagrammable boba and mochi donut place, and we had so much fun catching up that I don't have much footage of them wearing the bag, but here's a little glimpse. And yes, I made all the animated bobas as well as the clocks in this video. I've never made little animations like this, so I hope you guys like it. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you. Oh, and apparently, if you hit that subscribe button, it brings you good luck. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon.